Hi guys, Mark here. Hope you're all well. I have a review for you today on a Herald Maverick 125cc. Stay tuned and I'll let you know what I think about it. So guys, welcome today to a review on a Herald Maverick 125cc and what a little beauty this is. Um, so Chinese bikes have uh, got better and better over the years. I had quite a lot to do with them many years ago um, and they were not that good, I would say. You know, the first sprinkle of rain and they'd get rusty. Um, the electrics weren't very reliable. They really have uh, improved a lot over the past few years. And uh, this is um, made by a company called Herald, which are up in Cambridgeshire. And uh, let's just run through the uh, specifications on this, shall we? These are coming in at 2499 plus on the road charges, £2,499. And uh, this is uh, fine for your CBT, compulsory basic training. And it's an A1 compatible licence bike. It's got a little tiny 125cc four-stroke single coming in at a, a whopping 10 horsepower <laughs> so um these these are these are 121 kilograms dry weight so pretty nice and light for newcomers to uh riding to handle um it does have a very very high seat height though 885 millimeters um i'll just do a little cut scene in a minute for you to see me on the bike um pretty high um, but I say that kind of gives it its character it's quite a tall sort of commanding sort of position so I'll just cut to a scene of me on the bike for you So we have five speed manual transmission on this bike. Uh, we don't have ABS, what we do have is linked brakes. So if, if it can't have ABS, it has a linked braking system where you put on the back brake and it does about 30% to the front and then the front just does the front. Um, it's a Chinese based, very reliable four stroke engine based on the uh, Suzuki GS GN125 from years ago all modern fuel injection now so super easy starting an incredible economy of well over 100 to the gallon a 12 litre fuel tank on these and they come in seven colours you've got this lovely matte black which I think is my favourite you've got yellow, red, blue and there's a grey as well 
Um, I said, um, do check out heraldmotorcompany.com and you can see all their models. They have the, uh, the Brat 125, the Classic 125 and some nice 400s and 500s. Really good sort of selection of bikes. The nice thing with Herald is what they do is they bring the bikes into the country from China and they kind of assemble them themselves, check them over themselves and then when they actually get to the dealer they're pretty much ready to ride but then the, um, the dealer obviously PDIs it themselves as well so it's uh, a very good company I would say. Anyway, I think it's about time we take her for a little test ride. So guys, welcome aboard the Herald Maverick 125. So this is a sort of a 60s scrambler style bike, a bit like a flat tracker. Um, obviously mainly aimed for um, new riders I would say, and you need to be quite a tall rider to get on with this as a first bike. Um, it is tall, 880mm seat height. I'm on the balls of my feet, but def definitely not flat footed, I'm 5 foot 7 with a 30 inch inside leg. So a um, very very basic little uh, dial here showing your neutral, your engine light, your turn, uh, high beam and fuel. So that's that's it, no electronics on this whatsoever, pure simplicity, um, all very nice switch gear, kind of looks Chinese, sort of based on the sort of Kawasaki by the look of it, all looks very similar, all very tactile, high beam, low beam, pass, turn, horn, lights are on constantly, kill switch, starter, all very simple stuff. Nice braided hoses for the brakes. So as I say, it's a fuel injection, so just a quick push and um, up it fires. Absolutely lovely. So I'm really impressed with these Chinese bikes of late. They've really improved their um, their build quality. And, uh, and some of the models that are coming out now are uh, very impressive. I mean, Harold make one called the, um, the Brat. And that's a really smart looking bike. I think that's about £3,000. So let's run through this little bike then. Here we go. Woohoo! Forgot how much fun 125s are. So, first off, it's not a fast bike, 10 horsepower. It's going to do a top speed of about 50 55 miles an hour. Um, that'd be plenty fast enough if you were a beginner. You could buy this to ride to work on. Um, you know, commuting through traffic, you, you don't really need a lot of power to uh, go commuting on. Uh, this should do well over 100 to the gallon, I would say. So it's incredibly tall, commanding riding position, good clear little sort of classic styled chrome effect mirrors, can see quite a good view of the road behind me. Uh, one of the best bits about this little bike is um, the noise that comes from that um, sort of rear megaphone style exhaust is really loud, it makes a really good brap. So you've got really nice wide adventure style bars, giving lots of sort of easy control on the bike. The bike feels very light, weighs at 120 kilos dry, so that's good. Let's say we're here in the uh, heart of winter now, this is being filmed sort of December, so it's quite cold and wet at the moment. So. Apologies for any little spits on the camera. Riding position is nice and upright. Very loads of leg room. My knees aren't bent back at all. My legs are pretty much forward. And at this sort of 45, 50 mile an hour speed, there's absolutely no vibration through the bars or anything. It's quite a, a smooth engine. Obviously this bike's got the sort of semi knobbly tyres which is uh, great for these sort of conditions, you know, wet, slippery conditions, but they do feel a little bit vague, shall we say, but you, you kind of get used to it. I suppose it's the, uh, the little knobbles are kind of moving around a bit. So we're just... Uh, make this turn then we'll do a brake test in a minute. I've got a car behind me at the moment. So all the switch gears, very nice, 
very easy to use if you were a beginner. I say it's 10 horsepower, not, not going to set your world alight, but um, it's all very responsive, no flat spots or anything like that. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but the, uh, the exhaust sounds absolutely great. Clutch and gearbox all nice and smooth. So we're in the county of Dorset at the moment, in the Purbeck Hills. So this is a sort of a you know a scrambler style motorcycle styled on those sort of um, 1960s style bikes and so if you did want to do a little um, tiny bit of um, green laning shall we say this would be okay for it I would have thought. So we'll just try a little bit of um, slow speed running just to check the fueling yeah that is sweet as a nut that lovely smooth engine I do like single cylinder engines they've got so much character very very easy to handle at low low speeds these roads are incredibly wet and slippery today got about four degrees temperature today as well oh that engine sounds fab so on these sort of um slippery winter roads this is a great place to be actually with these knobbly tires it feels really good nice and chuckable around the bends the suspension even though it's got quite a lot of suspension travel being a sort of a off-roader should we say um, feels quite firm actually but in, in a good way the seat obviously this is a single seater bike there's no passenger foot pegs it's very comfortable loads of room to move around forwards and backwards But I'll tell you what, on these sort of quiet country roads, these little 125s are so much fun. Because, you know, you, it's all about carrying the speed through the bends, really. You just don't touch the brakes too much. But this is an absolute hoot. It really is. as I said is probably top speed of this is about 50 55 miles an hour let's go for it now full throttle yeah so there's about 50 and it's got a little bit more left I would say all right little brake test on the front yeah not bad at all does the job and if you put the back brake on, it does the front and the rear. Oh, that works well. So the link braking does the back brake and a little bit of front, so that's nice. But on a day like today, just cruising around quiet country lanes, 125 is lovely. So yeah, like I said earlier, you know, the Chinese bikes of 15, 20 years ago weren't that good. If you rode them in the rain, you know, their electrics weren't brilliant. Um, you know, the finish wasn't very good, but they really have improved the finish now. And so have a look at the Herald website. They do make a nice sort of selection of um, classic style bikes, really. But there's quite a lot of good makes around now. You've got um, Keyway and uh, Lexmoto, Mash, Cines. You know, there's quite quite a lot of really good manufacturers out there. And they, some of them make like 350s and 400s. So 
yeah, the suspension is doing quite a good job actually of soaking up all these bumps. Yeah, very nice slow speed running. Engine actually, dare I say it, feels very refined actually for a little Chinese unit. So just a short little review guys on the Herald Maverick 125. So yeah, just to show you the um little uh, instrument console, you just got your, your indicators, got your flasher, fuel light, engine light, speedo, that's it. <laughs> it's all very simple stuff here. Anyway, let's, let's leave it running. Just want you to hear the exhaust, there you go. It's quite nice, isn't it? So guys, what do you think of that? Herald Maverick 125. Yeah, there's those tyres. So, I mean, they're good on sort of wet conditions like this, but they do feel a little bit vague because <laughs> um, obviously the, the knobbles, if you're just used to road tyres, when you first ride knobbly tyres, they do feel a bit weird. <laughs> little 125cc Chinese engine from the old uh, Suzuki GS GN. There's your little fuel injector. All very simple, airbox. So yeah, that's that exhaust. So the noise comes out of the um these sort of discs here. See what she's like to push around? I mean incredibly light. I mean it's just like pushing a heavy bicycle really. So that's all good. So guys, if you like that, please give me a thumbs up. Um, what do you think about these sort of Chinese bikes? I mean, um, they really do look good, don't they? I mean, that is something, yeah, I'd be quite proud to own that and park it up somewhere, go to a pub one night and just have a drink and put it in the sun. That would look really cool. What are your thoughts? Have you got one yourself? Have they been reliable? I think if you take care of these, you keep on top of them, keep everything adjusted and everything lubed and washed. I think the problems come with these when you just ride them day in, day out, don't do any maintenance to them at all, and all the corrosion gets into all the connectors and things, then they can start to fail. But I think as long as you keep on top of them, keep the servicing up, I think generally now they're pretty good. Okay then guys, give me a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe as always, and I'll catch you again, hopefully, another week or two, with hopefully another Chinese 125, if I can get to borrow another one. Thanks guys, all the best, take care, this is Mark signing off, bye bye.